Hey, in this video we're going to go over uh, replacing the pull cord. Uh, we had a starter coil went out on this. We started pulling it with the pull cord to start it and the kill switch was partially in the kill position. It didn't start. We ended up breaking the cord. So we're going to go through and show you how we fix it. So on the Honda, this is a 2004 RTX 400 FA. Now there'd be different models, I don't know. But the pull cord for this is right down here, or at least that's where it was. Right down here, there's a little piece back in here. I don't know if you can see it too well here, but um, that right there is where it come out. And of course, this is the one that went through the flood. So when we pull that off, we're gonna be looking at um, you know, probably some sand and stuff in there too that makes it didn't work too well. The first time I tried to pull it, it didn't want to retract too well. So what we're going to do is, uh, in part one here, we're going to start taking this cover off and get to, we can get access to that down there. And then probably in part two, we'll actually do the replacing. So uh, stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe uh, so you'll see how this turns out. I'm just looking to see, if we get back here, we can see what we need to take off. If you come down here and... And, and look, um, this right here is what we got to take off right there. And I can see a bolt down at the bottom. I can see that one bolt up there. And I think there's going to be another one over here. I don't know if I can get to it. I know what this box out of here. It would be easier to get back there, I think. But to take this box off, I gotta take this loose, which means I need to loosen this up. Hopefully I don't have to loosen that up, but I'm gonna try to loosen this so I can get that off, off of it. Ouch. looking to see we get back here we can see what we need to take off if you come down here and and, and look um, this right here is what we got to take off right there and I can see a bolt down at the bottom I can see that one bolt up there and I think there's gonna be another one over here I don't know if I can get to it. I know with this box out of here, it would be easier to get back there, I think. But to take this box off, I gotta take this loose, which means I need to loosen this up. Hopefully I don't have to loosen that up, but I'm gonna try to loosen this so I can get that off, off of it. Ouch. Mm. Oh man, it wasn't running. I had it on pause yet. Damn, that was silly. Here, I thought it was running all this time. Sorry. Okay, yeah. first bolt out. Nice and clean on the inside. That that's a good sign. On the inside, not on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> well, outside's a little rusty on my head. Yeah. Well. That's not quite so bad as, as rusty on the inside. That could be bad. Bad. And there's got to be a bolt on this side of it, too. Uh, I would think there'd be three. Yeah, at least three. Well, you ain't give very far each time. 
That kind of sucks. Bummer. Two clicks. Should At least I got. <laughs> yeah, one, two, one, two. <laughs> At least you got something. Yeah. Well, some some of your uh, ratchets, you couldn't do it at all. Yeah. Too much play in them. Yep. Now can you get your fingers in there? Yeah. I don't know if I can. It's coming, huh? Yeah. Cool. I'm not clean. sure about putting it back together, getting them in there started <laughs> straight, but... Yeah, that might be a trip. Oh, it does look loose. Maybe it kind of has a slip-in on the other side that type thing. You know, a slip-in yeah, we'll, we'll, and just we'll, bolt that side down. We'll find out. Yep, real quick. Because it did look loose. Because it seems like it wants to rock from down here, so I'm going to have to see if I can find the other one. Good thing this is tall enough that I can slide underneath it. <laughs> now there's some cables that run in the way here. Yep, one more down here. Found it, huh? Yep. Somewhere down there in the wild blue yonder. Now I'll get my arms in here and be able to use a deep socket. And it's an eight millimeter is what we're using. Just in case you're doing it and you make sure you got the right tools. I need both arms. I gotta put my other arm in before I get to get in. <laughs> oh, uh, there we go. Now get both arms in. screw well actually not a screw it's a bolt but that's a good thing well after all that work I think I need a break take a nap <laughs> now let's see this cover will come off I think this has got that clip that was causing so much trouble with the wires in it. And I think it's hanging up. Hmm. We'll fill around and get it out somehow. I didn't say it this way. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> This was a clip that those wires were in, so I couldn't get to that nut because they, they was running right over the top of it. So here's where the cord goes in. And there is still some cord left in there. They're probably gonna have to wind it up. Yep. 